Welcome back. March is a big month for college hoops, but let's not forget it's also Women's History Month. And today we're taking you inside a first of its kind women's library located right here in central Indiana. Do, 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 do. On the second floor of Nickel Play Arts in Noblesville. Women ranging from Mona Lisa to Michelle Obama gather in the same spot in the form of a book. And Leah Leach is a person who brought them together. I will try to not have a stack beyond my grasp. <laughs> She's a book lover and the executive director of Gal's Guide to the Galaxy. We are the first women's history lending library in America, which we actually did not plan on doing. The idea started with her struggle to find a book about a bullfighting woman. Nevertheless, she persisted. This book that is really incredibly hard to find, which is her biography and has an introduction by Orson Welles, was almost lost to history. And we have it available for checkout. Yeah. Through the process, <laughs> Leah not only found that one book, but a new idea about this library filled with books exclusively about women or written by women. And then the question came, is it crazy to open a library? The answer is yes, but we did it anyway. <laughs> it's the only bookstore of its kind in the country. You wouldn't be able to tell Leah opened this new location only 11 days into the pandemic. Even in the midst of a pandemic, they've shown so much success that they've been able to more than triple their, their size and space. And like Amelia Earhart, the sky's the limit for this nonprofit. People had no idea this existed, right? But as soon as they engage it, they get excited. Many of the books are donated from the community. Most importantly, that excitement has meaning behind it. A Gal's Guide to the Galaxy is about highlighting contributions by all women. I very much go with the saying, if you can see it, you can be it. And so we have a library filled with different women of different backgrounds, of different ethnicities, and of different careers so that anybody can see it and be it. I think we are the right home for that because we are welcoming. We're a comfy place. We want everybody to be here. It's an inclusive environment that's offering a strong message about female empowerment to the next generation. My daughters now have this knowledge and this place at the table that has really, really helped them find their voice, find their placing. Finding that voice costs nothing. All books can be rented for 21 days, returned to the Dropbox, and renewed for free. Of course, A Gal's Guide to the Galaxy is gender inclusive too. We have women and men on our glorious volunteer staff, but a lot of us are gal pals. But it makes sense that these gal pals are passionate about lifting other women up. It's nice to be the first, but dang, it's been a long time coming. It um, represents a lot of what was left out in history. I taught for 21 years and a lot of the kids that I taught just knew about men and I knew just to teach about men. A Gal's Guide to the Galaxy is more than just a library. Hopefully start a, you know, a little bit of a revolution of literature and more people will open women's history libraries as well. It's bringing the history of her story to the front page. Once again, renting books at A Gal's Guide to the Galaxy is free, so the nonprofit makes its own money off grants and donations. If you want more information, you can find a link to Gal's Guide on our website, wrtv.com, and just click on this story.